Every galaxy in the sky contains billions of stars, whose light blends together to form spirals, disks and other myriad shapes. But visible starlight is, quite literally, only half the galaxy's story. About half of the universe's luminous energy is radiated at much longer wavelengths of infrared light. This is the light of the dust that, along with gas, fills the space between the stars. The Herschel Space Observatory was designed to study the dusty infrared glow of galaxies both near and far. With a 3.5 meter primary mirror, it was the largest infrared telescope flown to date, giving it the resolution to distinguish the light from some of the most distant galaxies in the universe. And resolve galaxies it did. This image may look like noise, but every tiny blob is the dusty glow of a distant galaxy. Taken together, they make a mosaic of galaxy history. Herschel was crucial in pushing detections of dusty galaxies back to when the universe was less than a billion years old. The dust in galaxies helps us study the formation of stars. Dust is always mixed with large reservoirs of gas and together they provide the raw material for making new stars. The light from these stars in turn heats the dust, which then radiates in infrared light. Measuring the glow of ancient galaxies has helped astronomers better map out the cosmic history of star formation. The heyday appears to have been about 10 billion years ago, when stars were being made about 10 times faster than today. That rate has curiously declined ever since. In studying nearby older galaxies, astronomers had discovered a rule known as the galaxy main sequence. The basic idea is that for most galaxies, the rate at which they make new stars scales up with the total number of stars they already have. Using Herschel data, astronomers have shown this same rule applies even to much more distant, younger galaxies in the universe. This suggests that the complex physical processes regulating star formation have remained more or less balanced throughout cosmic history. The proportionally higher formation rates in the early universe seem merely to be a consequence of the proportionally larger supplies of gas and dust back then. Understanding how this material changes over time is therefore of great interest. Many galaxies have long been known to have geysers of molecular gas blown out by both bursts of star formation and the cataclysmic activity around massive black holes. Herschel revealed that there was significantly more material being blown out of the galaxies than previously thought. It may prove a critical clue in determining how the circulation of gas in and out of galaxies regulates star formation over time. Herschel has played a vital role in mapping out the properties of galaxies for over 10 billion years of cosmic time. It has advanced our understanding of many of the complex processes of galaxy evolution, and it has paved the way for future research facilities to tackle the questions that remain.